So what is going on everybody, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 40th Android application development tutorial in which I'm gonna really quick show you how you can implement basic functionality with these buttons and some quick listeners and the best approach for this one would be to add the click listener method to the buttons right here in the XML so that you just don't have to go through each and every button as an ID and then uh, pretty much uh, register a click event then override that in your activity and do a hell lot of stuff when you can just do like Android or actually not this button actually I just want to start with one Android on click and just say the method name um, let's say this is uh, number pressed right so this is my method name and I'm just gonna copy this to here then here three then four five six then we have for seven eight nine then for zero as well so here we go and uh, in my main activity java what I can do is uh, I can just create a public void and then uh, my number pressed method actually and then this would contain a view which would be very useful for us later and uh, what is it that is actually yeah I don't need that in the on create I would just create a new method for that and for now I'm just gonna log I to custom tag and then I would just say that view V or whatever let me just cast it to button first because I'm pretty sure that it would be get text it should be there well let's say this is button B equals um, button V right and B dot get text oh I guess I was just missing this button import and then I want to just convert it to string so that Java isn't offended and uh, yeah looks fine now if I run this on the emulator so let me just configure this one as well to what this was custom tag right there okay now okay so here's our app and now if I click on like one you can see that I get that particular number which is exactly what we need and it doesn't do anything for other buttons because I haven't added any sort of method associated with it so that is how pretty much you add a click listener for buttons various buttons like that because it's just three liner code and if I just do it dynamically inside Java only it would be kind of you know a big one code because you need to do a lot of stuff manually so yeah so that's all for this tutorial and in the next one I would actually implement what we can do with the click on or basically the tap of these buttons so yeah so that's all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one